You've lost it. This is as wrong as it gets in life. You are purposely allowing a man to believe his child, your child, died at birth. I have told you. I have been telling you why. I don't care. I, I don't care. Or, or maybe I care in a way that you don't like. I regret every second I wasted backing you, you on this. You agreed that this was the right thing to do. There is nothing right about this. Nothing right about this. This is a decision made out of fear. I only went along with it because I thought it was your decision. It still is, Cassie. Well, you know what? It's really easy to make a decision when you don't come face to face with the consequences. You see, Philip? I mean, do you see him? I see him. I see him every day. But I also see what could happen if I did tell him. Lizzie. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Do you keep, you want me to keep reliving the same nightmare with that child? I have gone down that road where I thought I could protect my daughter from her, but I couldn't, okay? And no one in that family can control her. She did everything she could to run me out of Springfield while I was pregnant, Cassie. She wanted me dead. I know that you've been through a lot. But so has Philip. Oh. And you are part of the reason why he is suffering like this. What are you? Another spalding? Everything is my fault. That man is convinced that he killed his child. Now you can't give me one good reason why he should be in there suffering like that. Okay. You say that you care about Philip. But when you married him, you married into his life in the community. You married into his family and his company, and all that comes with it. Well, look at me. I've been found out. I don't know, Olivia. Maybe you have. It ends tonight. The roller coaster of pain, of suffering, of sadness. Fun ride. You know, I didn't think I had it in me to, to feel sorry for Carrie when she asked for this memorial. Yeah, me either. We're going, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, honoring Marianne. You know, it feels right. She was innocent, right? And going there tonight is the best way to put this whole thing to rest. Or not. I'm not going, and I don't think either of you should. Now I'm getting tired of this. Anybody know where the box is so I can shut these lights off? I don't know. I haven't been here for ages. What was that? Oh. Who turned on these lights? Uh, we haven't seen anybody, you? No, nothing. Just turned into a freak show. Oh, well, this is a freak. Any sign of her? Well, obviously somebody turned on the lights. <laughs> We're being set up. We didn't pick the field of engagement. We sure are stumbling into it blindly. Buzz is right. We have no advantage here. We have no way of knowing what's coming. This started three decades ago. If we leave, the wheel keeps turning. If we stay, we could end it all now. Why are we walking into this woman's spider web? Well, come on, guys. What did you expect? For us to show up here and get her to a big group hug with Carrie and she'd forgive us? No. This is their chance to torture us for what happened to Marianne. It's her game. Unfortunately, it's her rules, too. We'll play by her rules until we find out what she wants, and then we'll deal with it. Deal with it, Alan? Deal with it, and then we will get your girls out of this nightmare in one piece. Well, that would seem to be our cue. Are we ready? Let's do it. Hey.
your dad from Shane. Five years old, Camp Pamagoo Wasset. Guess you weren't there for him either, Rayla. Don't you dare! I know you're not leaving. Something like it. <laughs> Without saying goodbye? Sorry. Goodbye. No, come over here quick. Uh, Help me with this. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's a little early for spring cleaning. Yeah, well, just call me the queen of projects. Anyway, it keeps me out of trouble. Working. Most of the time. Right here. That's oh. good. So. When I was looking for the game that we played tonight, this is what I came across. A box. Oh, not just any box. This is a box of Lewis family memories. I mean, most of it's junk, but some of it tells a real story. Now, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to dive right in. And I'm supposed to just figure out what's what? No, no, I'll interpret for you. You will be the um, designated sorter. Come on, I need the help. Mara and, and, and Josh left, and Shane's upstairs tweaking his computer or something. Besides, you have absolutely no escape. So you want me to take a drive down memory lane for a full tour of the Lewis family's greatest hits? Yeah, please. Because, of course, you couldn't just do this yourself. Well, no, I could, but it wouldn't be nearly half the fun. You're assuming this is going to be fun? Sandy, I know that when you start going through all this stuff, you may feel uh, a little lost at first, maybe left out or ignored. Maybe because I was. That's the damage that I'd like to try to repair so that we can both start healing. How much are you paying? What do you want? Cookies. Giant ones of the soft baked chocolate chip variety? Cookies. Mm hmm. I can do cookies. You start digging. You start baking. <laughs> you know, I, uh, when I was little, I used to see these in store windows and. Reba? Are you okay, Reba? <sighs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> what were you saying? I, I, when I was little, I always wished someone would get me one of these. I'm not gonna get all jealous or weepy. Is this Mars or Shane's? Reva? Is this, uh, like the other day? Is it, are you having one of your, your things? Uh, you know what I really do? I, I, what I need to do is take a break from all these feelings that I'm having. I'm sorry. It's very sweet of you to worry about me, but it was really nothing. Everyone stay close. Oh, no, this isn't going to be dangerous or confusing at all here. We're playing on her turf now, aren't we? Well, maybe we should be thinking about getting the hell out of here then. Well, maybe, but I don't, I don't think we should uh, negotiate from a position of weakness. What do you think, Alan? Well, that's what we're doing, gentlemen. All right, Caroline. Show yourself and let's get this over with. Oh, Alan, she's not going to come out and discuss discuss with us, you know, how she's going to stick it to us. We left her niece to die. We know what we did, Ed. It's like pigs to slaughter in here. Hey, hey Ed, Ed, just, just calm down. Calm down, okay? You don't have to tell me to calm down, Wait. really. Did you hear that? Wait, look at that. What's that? She's here. Stay tight. All right. 
night, Caroline. We can play games all night. What was it you said, Ed? We're like pigs to slaughter? What's the matter, Mara? What isn't the matter since Carrie came into our lives? What, do you think she's up to something? I don't know. Why wouldn't she be? I realize there were no farewell hugs and kisses, but was this thing with Carrie supposed to be over? I mean, we told her to back off, and she did. End of story. I just have this feeling, and, you know, it's not a bad one. It's just like, I don't know, something's just different. But isn't going to meet Carrie tonight just drawing this whole thing out? Maybe we should just blow her off. See, last night I was thinking about why we agreed to do this goodbye for Marianne. And then the more I thought about it, the more just peaceful I felt, you know, just really peaceful. And I just know that what she's asking us to do is the right thing. I know it. I don't know, it's hard to describe. I, maybe I think, maybe these rings really do have some sort of like a power. Yeah, but Carrie said the power was in us and not in the rings. Yeah, but maybe it's both, you know? And if we go there tonight and we have our rings on, Mar, I know by the end of the night you're gonna have the same feeling. I just know it. You just have to like give in to her one more time. You know what, Cassie? You've been a good friend to me. Maybe my only friend in this town in a lot of ways. I still am. And yet you're implying that the only reason I married Philip was to get my mitts on the Spalding money. Certain people are talking about it, Olivia. Do I care? You're proving them right by keeping Emma hidden away from the world. Oh, what is this? Olivia wants to make a buck again? Don't call that original thinking on your part. What would you have me think? You can't keep em Emma hidden away forever. Who says I can't? I can keep Emma a secret as long as I want. Why would you? Because of Lizzie. Lizzie can be controlled. All right. Should I put you in charge of that? You can't tell me that you don't see what's going on with Philip. You can't tell me you don't see it. He doesn't deserve this, Olivia. If you had any feelings at all, you would go in there and you would put a stop to this. Look, maybe, maybe you are that afraid of Lizzie. Maybe not. But now that I've seen Philip, I'm not giving you any more options. I could just leave. I could just leave. I did it before. And with all the spawning resources, no one could find me. What has happened to you? I don't like ultimatums. So I have one for you, friend. You open your mouth, and Philip not only loses the child he never knew, he loses the wife he claims to love so much. Philip believes he owes me. Wow. You know, I have tried to see something different in you. Something good. Or at least someone who wants to do the right thing. And that's the only reason you've been able to play me. Knowing how I'd feel about you losing your baby. And you used it. Even when I found out your baby was still alive, you used it. And now you're telling me that you're going to run away and take the baby with you? What, do you think I'm going to be so crushed? So upset that it's going to destroy Philip? Is that it? I never meant to use you. Oh, yes, you did. You've been using me. But you know what? It's over now, Olivia, because I see what Philip is going through. And I know how that feels. So you know what? No, you don't have any more choices. Philip's gonna find out about his baby. Then what, Cassie? Are, are you gonna personally go tell Lizzie she now has the sister she never wanted? Just cut it out. Stop using the Lizzie card. You're smarter than that. Your con's over. Oh, I don't know about that. See, I think that so far what I've been doing is a pretty smart play. I'm in control, Cassie. Not Philip. Not Lizzie. Not her doctor, who ironically is now Philip's doctor. Not the rest of the Spaldings. Me. And you think Philip is too weak. You think he's too weak to stand up to Lizzie. You know why he's weak? 
because he thinks he had a hand in killing his child. It's driving him insane, and you don't want him to get better. Of course I do. Then you give him something to live for. He'll keep the secret about Emma if you just let him know that his daughter is alive. How can I be sure that I can convince him to keep Emma a secret? Well, you've convinced the whole world that your child died at birth. Philip, but believe anything you say, you got the man to marry you? Who did that out of pity? Well, then imagine what he would do out of a love for his child. Oh, God, that's what frightens me. Go get that little girl, and you bring her here, and you save your husband. I don't have a choice, do I? something I have to do first. You have backed me up against a wall and against my better judgment because I do love Philip in a way you will never understand. I'm letting you corner me, so you're going to have to trust me. What do you see? It's the music from this toy. It's like the calliope at the circus. It gives me the creeps. Maybe we shouldn't have opened this box. Well, maybe it'll help you flash back to something important. Something you might need to know that you've forgotten. Like, uh, where you lost the house keys back way back when? No, or a misplaced so grocery? Funny. You know something? That is twice that I've had a twinge of something when I've been around you. Sandy, the psychic lightning rod. I don't know. I can't explain it. It just seems that you, you make me more receptive or, or sensitive to something. Does it really work like that? If you're around certain people, is it like throwing gas on a fire? Maybe it's just that we really do have a connection. Let's get back at this. You know, I'm uh, late for something, so... No, you're not. You're just freaking out. You are. Don't go. Please don't go. Reva, uh, if we are having a connection, uh, we want it to grow, right? And that takes time. I'm... Tonight, with all the games yeah. and everything, it's a good start, yeah, right? I'm pushing again, aren't I? You little... <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Hug. <laughs> Call me. I will. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Drive safely. Good night. <laughs> thought about it like the way that you put it like you know seeking closure yeah it's like a it's like a sense of peace yeah yeah and, and I I feel that too I mean I feel like I feel like different you know like like good like I, I like I haven't felt about life in a really long time you know I mean I didn't say what I'm saying right now what it's because we're involved in something important you know and we just have to see it through but wasn't this important something bad? I, what about everything that Carrie did? Mara, after everything that we've been through, don't you think that we deserve to feel better about it? I mean, don't you want this to end this, like, the right way? All right. Let's do it. Come on up, Caroline. 
I don't know about you guys. I was just willing to negotiate before, but now I'm getting ticked off. Temper, temper, Billy. Anger's a dangerous emotion. It can cause you to get sloppy. There's nothing to be afraid of, Caroline. We've come here to make amends. I'm not afraid of you. It's you who should be afraid of me. Hey, look, you wanted us all here. We're here. Now, we all want the same thing. Oh, I doubt that. We need to find a way to put the past to rights. You cannot put the past to rights. You cannot bring Marianne back from the dead. Enough with these games! Come out and tell us what you want! I think I prefer to stay where I am, safe and alive. Don't be ridiculous. No one here is going to kill you. Then what was Buzz doing at the firing range today? Are you out of your mind? I never bring a knife to a gunfight. And never bring a gun. Unless you plan to use it. He won't. He won't. Just tell us what you want. A life. For a life. Whose life? One of us for Marianne? That wouldn't be a fair exchange, would it? Marianne was young, full of potential. You can't be serious. One of your girls for the one that you took from me. One of your girls must die to balance the scales. You must choose. Don't be insane! Oh, I'm not insane, Alan. I'm just very, very angry. Philip? It's Cassie. Still here? Yeah. I could go. No. You know. No, that's okay. I, I like your company. I heard voices out in the hall. Were you talking to Olivia? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we kind of got into it. <laughs> what about? About you. Always about me. I hate it. Hate it. I can imagine. You're always at your best when you're thinking about other people. Yeah, yeah Dr. Langham says that's what makes me crazy. What were you talking about? Just getting you better. Getting you out of here, back on your feet again. Too many pills, Cassie. I'm so tired all the time. Sometimes I feel like I know what I want, but I, I just I can't make it happen. I know that you feel like you're drowning, but you're going to get stronger. It's just going to take a little time and maybe a little help, you know, help that you aren't expecting, maybe. What do you mean? Oh, just, uh... You know, how things happen. Those miracles that life can throw at you. They just give you a little boost. I think about you. 
You lost the child, and you lost Richard. You know, this is probably one of those times where you shouldn't think about other people. That's in the past. What I can't figure it out is how you got there. Where? Now. You, 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 you managed to hold your life together. You didn't crack. <laughs> I permanently cracked, Philip. Yeah. I go on living, but I, I sometimes I don't know why I should. You can't expect one of us to choose which one of their children should die. Lady, for a minute there, I almost felt sorry for you. Now maybe I do want you out of the picture. No way, Carrie, no sure, way. Sure, sure. Carrie, listen to me. Josh, you can't reason Did with her. What are we supposed to do? Hey! You must understand that what you're asking of us is impossible. Why? Because you say so. You're damn right because we say so. You have no leverage. I have the advantage. Now that we can get our hands on you. You'd love that, wouldn't you? To kill me, too. Yeah, you bet. My doctor. You're a disgrace to your profession. Listen, putting you out of your misery is the most humane act I can think of at this point. It's been 30 years, gentlemen. 30 years, and tonight the debt will be paid. No! You want a life? You take mine! You hear me? Take mine! You can kill me right here tonight if that's what you want, but you're not getting your hands on my daughter! Kill me! Kill me! Oh, oh. And deprive myself of the pleasure of seeing you suffer. Just, 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 oh, oh. Hey, you don't negotiate with me. Just, there's another way. We'll find another way. We will. That's what she wants. You know what I want. But you're never going to get it. How do you know I don't already have it? The girls are through with you, Caroline. You won't get within a mile of them. How can you be so sure? Young women are so impressionable. They're so easily influenced. The girls and I have a bond, you know. In your twisted mind, I'm sure you think so. Don't be so sure your little darlings have rejected me. I don't think they'll ever reject me ever again. This is trippy. Did Carrie set all this up? How could she? She doesn't know anything about lights and mechanical stuff. This is beautiful. You know, I used to come here when I was a kid. It's been deserted for like years. I don't think it's ever been so peaceful. Yeah, you know, this is cool. 
And I like it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Look at all the lights. Whoa. Does anyone else feel weird? You mean like, like good weird or just kind of like weird? First one and the last one. Well, this is kind of a weird thing that we're doing, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Like the whole going, saying goodbye to dead people thing. Okay, you guys. Music. Did anyone else? I hear it. It's coming from the old fun house. You guys, that's our cue. We're off to see the wizard. After the baby, which tell me, I had a lot of love, and I hope you will too. Good, you're here. Came as quickly as I could. Did you bring it? Why all the flashing red lights? You know, I really don't have time to explain. Just know that this is a rush job. Let's get to work. Lady, you think what you want, but our girls aren't coming within a million miles of this death trap. So trip. full of bluster, don't you get sick of being wrong? You'll never get to them! Time is running out, and gentlemen, someone will die, so choose! Not one of our daughters! Maybe that someone will be you! You have already taken away everything that ever meant anything to my life. I have nothing else to lose, so choose! I heard voices. Wasn't it the music? Wait, did anyone hear voices? Uh, yeah, I, I think I heard it too. I'm not sure. Whoa. <laughs> if she moves, we move. We're not choosing anyone! Shh. What is it? I heard a voice. It sounded like Mara. No, no, it can't be Mara. Anything out? Is that me over there? Me too. Wow. This is awesome. You guys, let's hold hands. Are you scared? Uh huh. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, listen. Is that your choice? No! No, just, just, just wait! If Mara's here, then Marina's here. So is Michelle. Don't panic. Let's split up.
Listen to me. Get down. Get on the floor and don't move. Says. Mark, she's got to go! 